Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, I guess I got to eat some crow because I, I said Chris Colbert, and it's so all about Chris Colbert, um, was the future. I said he maybe could beat Shakur Stevenson. I thought that was one of the best fights that could be made in the sport of boxing. Um, that didn't go well for him yesterday. Not at all. Uh, but before we get into all that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, uh, twice a day, uh, eight to ten minutes a day. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into Chris Colbert because that was um, that was shocking. In the 30-plus years I've been watching and boxing, involved in boxing, um, that was one of the most shocking things I've ever seen. So uh, Chris Colbert gets a late replacement and a guy named Hector Garcia. Um, he, um, you know, he had a 14 0 record, 30 year old prospect, not exactly setting the world on fire. Uh, he had a win over Isaac Avalar uh, back in late December. Uh, that was on uh, the David uh, Morrell Alantis Fox card in Minnesota. Um, we got to look at him. Then he, he has Bobby, um, Bob Santos, Bobby Ben, Bob Santos. I'm sorry, Bob Santos as a manager. So he, I mean, he's probably got some talent. Uh, he's 30, like I said. So he's not young. He's not on the come up. No one was, no one saw this coming. And, and, and Chris Colbert was someone that I had so highly touted. Uh, I thought he was one of the brightest young prospects in in the sport. Um, you know, he barely, you know, one of those guys, he had destroyed uh, King Tug. He has wins over Jezreel Corrales, uh, Miguel Beltran. I mean, he, uh, he's he got solid wins. Um, Austin Dulé, he knocked him out. Titus Williams beat him on a come up. Um, I mean, Chris Clover was challenged uh, early on in his career, and he had passed him, and, and he looked, you know, I thought he was one and two with Shakur Stevens in the 130 pound division. And I thought he earned that. I thought, um, you know, he's supposed to originally fight Roger Gutierrez. Um, Gutierrez has a WBA, has the WBA 130 pound belt. Um, and I, you know, Hector Tanahara schooled. Um, um, I'm sorry, Hector, Hector Tanahara schooled Gutierrez. Uh, and Chris Colbert, I, I think, is, 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 is a super version uh, of Hector Tanahara, who I think is a really good fighter. Um, I, I really thought Chris Colbert was something to behold. I, I, I don't know. He's only 25. He's got plenty of time to, to come back and, and fix this and get this right. Uh, but what we saw on Saturday was atrocious. Um, I mean, nothing he did made sense. He was backed up in a corner. And he would, he would get himself in the corner against the ropes, um, against a good pressure fighter. It didn't make it. He wasn't winning the exchanges. He wasn't doing well. Um, he wasn't tricking him. He wasn't walking him into traps. He wasn't really doing anything. Um, he wouldn't let his hands go. Um, it just <laughs> – then he gave the last two rounds away. Um, I, I actually – I thought he won the second, third, and ninth. I actually had a little closer than the judges who gave him one and two rounds. I gave him three. It didn't really matter. Um, he got thoroughly dominated in that fight. Um, he, he seemed to start getting it going again in the seventh. And, again, at, seven, at that point, I had him down 4-2, so not out of the fight. The judges had it 5-1. It's a little, little, little more difficult. Um, but he had shown power. Um, he, uh, you know, he doesn't have a great KO ratio, but he'd stop uh, Jamie Arbold. Um, he had stopped Miguel Beltran in the first round. He stopped Austin Dulé. Like he had shown some pop. He just, you know, didn't commit to it. So I was like, okay, he may have to get this guy out, and I think he can do it. And it just it never got better for him. It absolutely, he just it, it went from bad to worse. And like I said, he started 
That was the himself I thought in the seventh. And then he got knocked down. And when he got knocked down, he was in bad shape. Uh, I don't think he ever really fully recovered from that shot, or, or at least not for a while. And at that point, the fight was over. And by the 11th and 12th round, he was happy taking a decision loss and running out the clock. There was no sense of urgency. He, he never got busy. He never let the hands go. Like There was never a sense of urgency. He seemed content. It looked like he was an opponent in there. It really did. It looked like it was – I'm sorry. It looked like it was a showcase for Hector Garcia, and Curtis Colbert was in there just to, you know, give him rounds. It's actually what it looked like. I mean, I, I was shocked by what Chris Colbert was doing, a guy that I think the world of. Now, where does Chris Colbert go from here? I still think he's got a world of talent. Chris Colbert's got insane talent. And what I, I haven't seen him yet. I, I, I want to see him. He wants a, a rematch right away. Full credit to him. Kudos to Chris Colbert. Um, I don't know what to make of that, though. I mean, is this really a rematch you want? Because you might lose again. Um, that was not good. It wasn't close. You didn't fight well in it. He didn't just beat you. Um, I, I don't know what you did in there. That was a. I, um, look, the 130 pound division isn't the most stacked division in the world. Okay. Um, he could get one win and get himself back in the title picture, right? I mean, you have Valdez and Stevenson, they're going to square up. The, then who do you have in that division? Kid Galahad, Lamont Roach, Albert Bell, right? It's not the most stacked division in the world. Um, so he can get himself back in the picture. Um, oh, Rakamov is in that. I mean, it, but it, 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 it's the vision is lackluster. Um, so Chris Hurd is one win away, I would say, from getting back in, in a world title picture. Now, who, who do we get that one win against? I don't know. Um, you know, do I think he can beat Lamont Rhodes or? Robson Concesio, um, or Albert Bell, um, you know, Andy Vences, um, Luis Alberto Lopez. He can beat those guys. He can. Oh, Lopez is back down at 126. Um, but he can't ever do what he did in that Garcia fight because that was atrocious. Um, He's got to establish himself. He's got to jab. He's got to move. He's got to establish the right hand, right? Um, he, you know, he likes to go backwards. He can't go backwards, but he can't only go backwards. He can't stick himself and get stuck in the ropes. Right? He can't get back in the corners. He can't back himself in the corners. Um, I, I think Chris Colbert can, can get this back. I think one win puts him right back in the title picture. So, he realistically, he's two fights away from being a world champion. Um, but he can't do that again, right? Like I said, if, if, if Josh Taylor – Fights this way, the way he fought um, against Virgil Ortiz. He fights that way against any of the top 100 forces. He's going to get destroyed. That doesn't mean he's going to. I mean, he just can't do what he did. Chris Colbert can't ever fight like this again. Um, who are you more disappointed with, Chris Colbert or Josh Taylor? Josh Taylor got the win. I guess it's got to be Chris Colbert, right? Because Chris Colbert fought a replacement that no one's ever heard of, and he got destroyed. Um, I hope for Chris Colbert the best. I think he will bounce back, but his next fight is going to be interesting to see if this psychologically beats him down because that was a terrible performance um, on, on a big stage and was supposed to be, um, you know, originally it was world title winning performance. Uh, but let me know what you think. Guys, leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you think about Chris Colbert. Will he be back? Was he all hyped to start with? I really don't think he was. Uh, thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, Please follow us on all public social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.